What's better then, £1 billion pounds or a sugar daddy owner? Well, today we're going to try and find that out in Football Manager 2023. And we are starting our journey in the championship, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, here we are. We are back for another Football Manager 2023 experiment. Instead, we've got five teams with a sugar daddy and five teams with one billion pounds. So, looking at the old notepad, the one billion pound teams are Cardiff. We've got a billion pounds, as you can see there. We've got Coventry City, Hull, Preston North End, and Sunderland. Hey, can they do what, uh, what we did on FM22? The teams with the sugar daddy. We've gone with Blackburn Rovers, Fallen Giants, Blackburn Rovers. I'm not going to do this for every single team, but I'll show you Blackburn. Finances, we've got a front-end sugar daddy. Um, you'll have to take my word for it that I've done for the other four. I certainly have. The other four teams are Bristol City, Huddersfield, Middlesbrough, and Reading. So, we've got 10 teams that we're going to be following in this experiment, and we're going to be following them over the course of quite a lot of years. But first, can any of them make use of their uh, money or sugar daddy owners in the first season? Let's go through a year and find out. Bristol City, one of the teams, and they've gone up. Stoke, Swansea and Wigan have gone down. Bristol City have found themselves in the Premier League. Well, did they do anything with their money? Their front-end sugar daddy, did he do anything in particular? Well, I don't know. Were any of these players already there? 25th of the 6th. I can't think what day we started. Save file on. Alex Scott's gone to Bayern Munich. 4.1 million, riding to, rising to 18 million. And he turns into a great player. Still at Bristol City on loan. So yeah, Bristol City have gone up. In terms of the big transfers, we've had Ryan Christie moving from Bournemouth to Sheffield United. It was difficult really really to see who, who I mean Bristol City are in there in the top three of the top five, uh, six seven Sheffield United and Norwich as well I'm gonna go out there and say what's in the save game some money has changed hands we've got Coventry Huddersfield um Cardiff all splashing a little bit of cash so I'm thinking in the next few years we're going to see something kicking off and we're going to see some teams get themselves into the Premier League and probably stay there will it be the money or will it be the sugar daddies that reign supreme well we're going to jump through a bigger interval now we're going to jump through nine more years we'll be 10 years into the future see what's happening right so just straight off the bat we are going to look straight down the championship and see how many of the 10 teams are still there Coventry are still there Cardiff are still there so a bloody hull Preston are still there. Sunderland are not. Sunderland are in the Premier League. Slavin Bilic in charge. Look at that. Last season, £179 million pounds out. Oh, Saudi Arabia at it. Robert Thomas. So Sunderland spending big, but they're getting a lot of money back in. Oh, here we go. £100 million pounds they spent here. Only £24 million pounds in. Yeah, they're spending big. A few seasons they've spent reasonably pretty big. And how long have they been in the Premier League for then? That's the question. Oh, they've only just gone up. They've been up and down. They've yo-yoed a little bit. They have won the championship in 28-29, but they've just gone up in second place. Place in the most recent season fair play Sunderland the only team with the billion pounds who have made it out of the Premier League everyone else is still there the sugar daddy teams we've got Blackburn Rovers we've got Bristol City who are also up in the Premier League we'll look at them in a second quickly looking down Huddersfield Middlesbrough and Reading so Bristol City then Thomas Frank's in charge and how are they doing much more muted much more muted, if you ask me. Oh, there we go. Bit of a big season here in 27-28. Oh, look at that one. £146 million spent to 25 in. And then over 111 again to just 25 in. Dean Brooks, 24 years old. Goalkeeper for £61 million. He's never even played a game for them. He's just moved 10 days ago. He's won the World Cup of bloody England. His old Dean Brooks. Come on, Brooksy lad. How long have Bristol City been in the Premier League? Well, he's been here for three years and we've seen two big seasons of transfers they've spent the cash to stay up and their sugar daddy is loving it they've got the front end sugar daddy they've still got the front end sugar daddy so in terms of the championship then going back to the uh there so bristol city went up then we've had middlesbrough have made it to the premier league they went up in the second season has anyone gone down birmingham went down birmingham haven't got uh, any money it's not birmingham apologies huddersfield have been up as well as we saw sunderland going up as champions bristol city is champion sunderland going up as champions yet again bristol city absolutely yo-yoing about Huddersfield there. Suddenly going up in second place. And yeah, as we saw, there we go. Present day. We're 10 years in. No one's made a big play yet. 
a lot of the teams in the championship are still in the championship let's have a look at the billion pound teams we're going to have a look at coventry first who've got 53 million pounds where the hell has all their money gone i mean they spent reasonable they've not spent massive the coventry have lost all that money cardiff have still got 788 million well coventry have got no hope have they best part of a billion pounds still for cardiff all 686 million mark van bommel in charge preston 720 million sunderland as we've seen loads of money sugar daddy's then blackburn sugar daddy's left darren thomas scales down his funding and withdraws his funding darren thomas said tatar blackburn rovers this is why we did multiple teams because i knew some of them would waste the money and i knew some of them would lose their sugar daddies their sugar daddy is now just a back end the old huddersfield one not sure what's happened there we look at middlesbrough again a back end one for middlesbrough and reading and now just an underwriter so we've only got one sugar daddy still active though giving it beans and that is the bristol city sugar daddy and we've got the other teams have still got a lot of money but th again that's why we did five teams of each because i knew some sugar daddies would leave and some teams would squander the money so coventry are out of the running as are most of the other teams so we're going to be really focused on Bristol City and the other teams with money. So let's go through. We're 10 years in. We're going to go through another 15 years to 25 years into the future. Here we go. We've got the most recent season in 2047. Preston have gone up and they are one of the teams with all the money and £491 million they still have. It's the first Sky Bet Championship trophy of their save game. Not even the first one of the save game, is it? Didn't win it third cardiff still got 273 million so they're falling away all 3.6 million well they've lost it coventry on oh coventry are coventry is sick they've got 66 million so they've made a bit of a comeback and they bloody won the championship twice since we were last year on coventry and sunderland not even there woking are in the bloody championship 12 points deducted from west brom from entering administration woking where are they were they in the they're in the bloody Vanuam national they've climbed through the leagues and they've been in the championship a few times go on woking lads done nothing with a woking i'm not seeing bristol city blackburn rovers still there Darnell Furlong in charge. Huddersfield aren't there. Neither the Middlesbrough. Reading are. We're going to go to the Premier League. The Premier League. And Bristol City are in second place. Xabi Alonso in charge. And they've been in the Premier League for a long time. £189 million in their bank account. We've got a front end sugar daddy still. And they've won the Premier League in 21 42. 20 41 42. Only on 80 points. But they've got a Premier League. They've also got themselves a Champions League in 2043. Bristol City are the team to beat right now. And it's a sugar daddy that's taken the taking the top prize as we speak. Sunderland in 13th, minus 12.25 million. Saliba is in charge. They won the Europa League in 2040. They've won a few championships. But they've been in the Premier Division since the 2034-35 season. So they've been up here for quite a while. Huddersfield have just gone down, as have Middlesbrough. No sugar daddy for Huddersfield. Underwriter for Middlesbrough. We thought that would be the case. Thought that would be the case. So we are looking at... Sunderland have, have got have got lost their money, but they're still in the Premier League. They're lower mid-table. Preston have still got half a billion pounds. I don't know where that's... How they've managed to save that for 25 years. Bristol City with their sugar daddy are currently challenging for the Premier League. Oh my God. And they lost it on the last day of the season. Liverpool beating Arsenal 1-0. Bristol City losing to bloody Sunderland. Can't keep them out of the experiment, can you? They've lost it on the last day of the season from getting their second league title. Well, we've gone through more years. We're going to keep going. Preston seems to be the only one with the money that could actually come and do something because Sunderland have lost all their money. They come back now. It's just on their own merit. Bristol City still got the sugar daddy for 25 more years. But we're 25 years further on into the future and Preston are down with 23.7 million pounds they've lost their money Sunderland are in 10th they've got 12 and a half million pounds in the bank but they've not really got much else to speak of they did win an FA Cup in 2061 they've got another Europa League in 2065 they won a Conference League in 2061 as well a great season for Sunderland that was they've been in the Premier League ever since they've been in the Premier League since we were last here 25 years ago and they've actually been finishing in the top half they've just fallen away to be mid-table recently but they were qualifying for Europe quite regularly a few years ago. Not sure what's happened to them there. As you can see, Everton have won the last five Premier Leagues. But Bristol City are here in eighth, getting Europa League football. Still just the one Premier Division. Still just the one Champions League. They've won two FA Cups, 2050 and 2069. Nice. They've won two Conference Leagues, one in 72. They've just won the Conference League. They are current Conference League winners, beating Puskas Academia of Hungary. Long Panna, English player, or Long as a first first name all right then and they've lost their sugar daddy bristol city have lost their sugar daddy well, there we go quick look down into the championship tottenham are just getting promoted because 
they down there of course they are Huddersfield getting promoted as well Blackburn still down there in the in the mix Cardiff just outside Coventry Middlesbrough look at this Forest Sutton one of them just won League One Bex up in League One Swansea down there Woking still battling out in League One fair play to him well we've lost all the money basically we've lost all the sugar daddies but they're not gang this game is not over no we've simulated forward I wanted to do 100 years to see what's happened so we're going to go through to the end I've actually gone more than 100 years like 117 maybe like 121 30 something we'll see anyway you'll know when we're back but Bristol City at this moment have won it and if something else has happened in the meantime not really what we did but we gave them all a great start let's see what happens it's 21 37 gang and we are back so 115 years into the future and what has been happening Sunderland Sunderland have won the league nothing to do with us but Sunderland have won the bloody league Bristol City are still up there Huddersfield have made a play and they are seven. Doncaster are up in the Premier League. City and Liverpool and Chelsea all occupy mid-table. Coventry getting relegated as have Fulham. League One winners last time we saw. Well, let's go and have a look at the past winners then. Wolves have been on a tear. Bristol City have won a fair few. Oh, bloody hell. Bristol City have won a fair few. Have they? They won it for 15 years in a bloody row. They've won 22 overall and 10 Champions Leagues. I'm just going to have to go back. I want to... Right, hang on. We were last here in the 70s. Everton just won five in a row. Everton were up in the mixer for a long time. Then Bristol City. Bristol City won one back here as well. Bristol City were there. They've been there or thereabouts all the way through. We gave them such a positive start and their sugar daddy stuck around for a long time. Um, second and third for a lot in the 80s and 90s. And then they were... Right at the very end of the decade, in the, the century, they went, here we go. We're here. Bang. First, second, first... Nowhere in the 21-01-02 season. Where did they finish in the 21-01-02 season? Fourth. They finished outside the top three. They were fourth. And then they went, right, that's it. We're having this. 15 years in a bloody row. They absolutely smashed it. Then Sunderland came back and won a couple. Wolves have been here building their way up. Second a lot and winning a lot in first. In terms of Champions Leagues, it's going to be Bristol City. Sunderland have taken a couple of Champions Leagues. How many have Sunderland taken? Three in total. And they've won five Premier Leagues in the last 20 years. It appears. Doncaster are the current FA Cup holders. No era of domination in the FA Cup. Not like we've seen in the league anyway. As soon as the past winners of the Champions League, Wolves have won quite a few. Nine, to be precise. Two Champions Leagues for Newcastle. Manchester City have got 17. 17 in 115 years. Everton have got 14. Everton started winning in the 50s, 40s. Hey, go back. Now, we're in, the, we're in the Europa League now. Just want to see if anyone in the Europa League has won. Unusually. Nothing, nothing really to speak of in the Europa League. Yeah, is what it is. So yeah, as you can see it's been all about bristol city and we're going to go back and we're going to look i'm going to look at when do they really start being amazing the turn of the century so let's go back to literally 2100 because i want to see if they actually had another sugar daddy that sort of came into the club no sugar daddy here let's go on i mean this is where they're about to kick on and absolutely go on a tear I mean, they'd already got four champions leagues three in the last six years they've got more champions leagues than premier leagues by this point there we go we're back in the present day and yeah we it seems that uh, sugar daddies the sugar daddy that stuck around for bristol city really helped them kick them on and they did they did the best and then after he'd left they'd got the foundation and they built and built and built and then they kicked on Sunderland are up there now they got to the premier league and put their sword in the ground with all that money no one else has really ever done anything with the money or the sugar daddy bonus in terms of internationally then we're having a quick look at the World Cups and you can see we've got England, Turkey in 2034, Belgium, Germany, Belgium, USA in 2062, England again, two for Spain, one for Portugal, another for Spain, England, Spain, Brazil, Wales in 2114 and three in a row for England beating Holland, Paraguay and Wales respectively, Israel coming third place in the most recent World Cup, very interesting indeed, nine World Cups for England, six Euros, well, obviously that's all in the save game and as you can see, two back to back, Wales have got a goal in generation it appears current runners up of the world cup and sorry not the current runners up of the world cup current runners up of the euros but they're up there and they're winning stuff go on wales two for england in a row recently we've got three in a row for france before that portugal portugal and spain back-to-back -back finals losing the pair of them norway have won one back here beating ireland in the final in 2096 nothing really massively out of the ordinary i mean austria winning in 2048 is kind of weird but that's about it everyone else you'd sort of expect especially with the um youth generated players that come through and of course Every now and again, you're going to get a golden generation and all it takes is a bit of luck in a tournament and you're going to win it anyway. So it's not the not massively different. Anyway, that's the end of the experiment. I hope you had a good time today. Uh, it's been a bit of a fun one, bit of a weird one. Just 
money or sugar daddy i tried it on the previous fm with van armor national league teams and didn't really take mainly because of reputation which is why we went in the championship and i feel it did all right of course we was going to do it in england because of the highest reputation league give it the best opportunity to perform and yeah had a good time hope you did too like the video if you haven't already subscribe to the channel we're pushing those subscribers we're well, not really but yeah subscribe while you're here and go and watch this video best reviewer again i always say it i'm bothered to choose a video so go and watch it youtube algorithm does it for me actually go and watch the southampton save having a lot of fun with that